Well, many local teachers are reluctant to return to the classroom for face-to-face -face instruction. One district has teachers ready, waiting, and really excited to go back Monday without reservations. Paula Tutman joins us live. Paula, this is exciting to hear about excitement. Yeah, it really is, and it has to do with really one word, shot. Make that two words, two shots, eh, three words, both of them. Today's a big day for the Wayne Westland Community School District. Of the nearly 1,700 teachers, bus drivers, food service workers, and general staffers, everyone who wants a vaccine has gotten them, both as the district arranged for clinics to be set up just for school staff. And those clinics administered the last shots yesterday, just in time for the first face-to-face -face learning since March, 2020. We gotta take care of our adults, because if we don't, our kids can't thrive. I'm so excited. When, when Wayne Westland provided that, I just was ecstatic, because it's, we're going back March 1st. So how timely, that was, and to give us the time off to do that. We're doing no live ses sessions. So even though I'm working today, I'm at home. So if I start to not feel good, I'm home. Today, teachers are in classrooms, getting ready for Monday, when the district will go to a two full days a week hybrid schedule. And Laura Janik, a kindergarten teacher, is ecstatic. To have that added dose of protection makes me feel so much better. I have an 81 year old mom that I have to help care for me and my family. I don't want to spread it and possibly give it to her. Here's the bottom line for teachers. When they didn't feel safe going back into the teaching environment, it was an additional stressor. I would have done it. I would not have felt comfortable. I need this job and I love my job. Teachers are essential workers, and these teachers feel like their safety concerns have been honored, and it makes Monday a dream instead of a dread. Think about the kind of teaching that's being done, especially with younger children. I have to give them love and nurturing just as much as I'm teaching them education. It's not like they sit at a desk like a college student. I am holding their hand when they're scared. I'm rubbing their back if they're struggling and they feel like they can't do it and I'm prodding them on. So I don't want to stop being me as a teacher. You know what, the, the staffers I'm talking to, they're so excited. They believe this is just in the nick of time. Indeed, the incubation period isn't quite over Monday, but they still feel really good about this. Karen, think about this. There are children who have never been in a classroom setting. Think about preschoolers and kindergartners. So this is very, very exciting for them to start school on Monday. It's gonna be fun to see those first day of school picks. You know what I mean for them? It'll be exciting. <laughs> yeah, right. really well. I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Paula. Still.